Here at Children's Day, art is an extremely important component to both our philosophy and our day-to-day -day work. We've created an environment where art and self-expression are key to both children and adults' development. By using art as an early form of communication, children are developing skills that will enhance their writing ability and their ability to reflect and grow their inner knowledge. But of critical importance, and what I think really sets Children's Day apart from others, is the way we use art as a means of expressing feelings and ideas, not just for our children, but for the adults as well. Art provides an opportunity for free expression, to let loose your inner spirit, and gives you the freedom to express yourself. But when we nurture this freedom of expression in children, they grow learning to be able to better express their thoughts and feelings and emotions. We provide opportunities for staff to experience some of the benefits of focusing on the process of creating art over the product. We have monthly groups that are led by our art therapist, Erica, and they really help staff to tap into these new ways of expressing themselves. Art therapy is important for children, especially preschool age, because in the first five years of life, they develop really rapidly. Um, the beauty of art therapy is we're not just limited to the physical or the language, we can hit the other areas of development through art materials um, without needing the verbal expression. It's important for schools to offer art therapy because not every child is going to have words to express what they need. Art, again, is a nonverbal sensory-based process, a natural form of expression for children so you can find ways to work with them where words might not be there. I really like working with the children because I get a range of experiences. For those who have a little bit more energy than others or a little bit more anger that they're not sure how to express, they find ways to self-regulate and find the words for those emotions that they're feeling through words and through the use of art materials. The art show is a really great overall picture of how art can help children express themselves. They're naturally creative, it's nonverbal and sensory based, and not everything is product making a piece oriented, but for children it's more process oriented, which is important, as well as for adults and teens. Hi, my name is Miss Jasmine. I'm going to tell a story about one of our students. First, he decided that he, they want to paint a family portrait. He talked uh, to me about using a lot of different colors and he was super excited to start the painting. When he started the painting process, however, all the different colors start to mix together. He was frustrated and very upset. He got to the point where he called his painting ugly and decide to continue mixing all the colors in frustration and realize it made the color green. When it comes to art, we don't tell our students to focus on an end product, but simple to just create what they want. In that moment, my student also realized that the, the green canvas looked like the green of a jungle. So he continued painting to make the background look like a uh, leaves of the jungle. With the jungle background, I asked him if he want to add anything else to the painting and he asked me for the monkey stuff and continue with the painting. In the end, he created his painting and he was very proud of it and really loved the outcome. In that moment, I realized the importance of a teacher intervention, helping him think through his anger and frustration. He was able to turn something he viewed as negative in something positive. Art 
engages children's senses and open and play and supports the development of cognitive, social, emotional, and multisensory skills. As children progress beyond preschool, art continues to provide opportunities for brain development, mastery, self-esteem, and creativity. Hola, ¿cómo están? Nosotros somos la familia Asensio y estamos compartiendo un poco de arte que hemos hecho en familia. Este, bueno, acá yo tengo una imagen que hice. Estaba un poquito estresado antes de hacerla. Entonces, esto, eh, el nombre de, de mi arte se llama Los Siete Días de Sol y Luna. Esto, cada paloma representa los siete días de la semana. Hay veces que nosotros nos levantamos, siempre nos levantamos todos con el sol, pero hay veces que nos levantamos de malas, entonces amanecemos con sueño, con la luna. Sin embargo, <coughs> siempre está el sol. Y esta es mi imagen. Ok, uh, y yo dibujé esto, que se llama el sabor de la dulzura. Eh, me gusta... Bueno, en primer lugar me gusta hacer uñas, pero con diseños, con un montón de diseños. Y lo que más me gusta hacer son frutas. Entonces elegí algo que me gusta, que, eh, que me representa. Y aparte de los colores, me gustan los colores muy llamativos, muy bonitos, muy fuertes. Entonces hice una pera que contrasta con el rojo. Hice una cereza, las cerezas son eh, rojas, pero yo decidí hacer un fucsia en el fondo que es amarillo hice una sandilla y hice una piña eh, con el fondo eh, verde para que resaltara cada fruta y se vea bonito y estas fueron nuestras artes, se podría decir sí, es, eh, bueno, esta actividad a, a mí particularmente me encantó mucho porque fue una relajación que hicimos como pareja entonces nos pudimos expresar los sentimientos que teníamos en ese momento entonces creo que es una actividad bastante importante que la escuela puede hacer con los padres para relajarnos porque siempre tenemos a los niños que nos estresan sin embargo esto nos ayuda a estar mejor como familia Ajá, relajarnos y, a relajarnos. y llegar tranquilos a casa Um, el, yo yo soy una casa con mamá y con papá. Sí, sí, sí una casa de niños y y y y y y, 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 y una puerta de arriba y y y vamos a una, y y y y y y y y y y una chimenea y y y y nada más eso. Nada más eso. Ay, las flores. También Ajá, hicimos una actividad que era hacer una casa eh, con los padres y pues Marco decidió hacer una, una casa de Minions con sus ventanas pequeñas, la puerta pequeña, le puso flores, una chimenea, le, la pintó de celeste, ¿verdad? Estuvo muy bonita y fue una interacción muy bonita entre padres e hijos, nos divertimos eh, y me gustó porque ayuda a que los niños... Eh, sepan lo que quieren, aprenden a, a tomar decisiones y eso está muy, muy, muy relajante. Y también nos ayuda bueno. como padres a tener una mejor interacción con los hijos y como familia.